All right, this is a video I'm doing on how to disable the uh, all the safety switches on this thing. I've been really annoyed with all these safety switches on here. It makes it a pain to start up and mow in reverse, all that type of stuff. So I'll show you what all I did to get rid of all of that. Um, just uh, this is my disclaimer: if somebody does this and gets hurt. Don't come looking for me. And uh, if you got kids that's going to be using a mower or something like that, I wouldn't recommend messing with any of this. But um, as far as the seat switch, this uh, you can see when the seat's down, it doesn't ground that switch there out. So all I did with this was just disconnected it, pulled the plug off. The emergency brake switches was a little tricky. It had two different switches. Basically, I had an orange and black and two orange. And I went with the two orange and left the orange and black not connected to anything. With the other switch, it had uh, three yellows, two yellows and white and a green. And they were all on separate sides of the plug, so I went with all three yellow ones tied together. Left the two yellow and whites and green not connected to anything. As far as the uh, these little switches on each side, I had to pull them out. And then I took the two orange ones with a wire nut and tied them together. Left the two yellows disconnected. On the other side it had, I think a couple, it had one extra orange wire. So I just tied the three orange wires together and left the two yellows not connected to anything. As far as the reverse switch, Keeping you from being able to mow in reverse. There's a switch up under here. You can see when you pull the handle back, it pushes down on that switch. So I pulled the plug out on that and just left that plug disconnected. On the other side, it was the same kind of plug, but I disconnected it and tied the two blue wires together. That way the blades would start up if this wasn't tied together the blades would not engage at all so with that tied together and the other plug unplugged it will mow in reverse so pretty much every safety thing on this has been done away with and hopefully i won't get hurt in the process but if i do i mean Troy Belt puts all this stuff on there for to, I'm sure, take away all their liability or some, you know, somebody suing them. So, you know, as far as they're concerned, they're covered. If I do something like this, this is on me. So, anyway, if you're getting annoyed with the switches too, that's how you do all of it. And hopefully it'll work out for you.